Weather is 95% go. These boosters on the outside, they have flown before the Psyche mission a little more than a year ago. They are back on the pad along with a brand new center core booster and a spacecraft bound for the Jupiter moon Europa. Yeah, Daryl, I can confirm, listen Talking to heavy the teams, that startup. everybody is a go for launch. They have resolved the temperature uh, issue they were looking at on second stage. Uh, everybody's given the go uh, for that, and uh, Falcon is in startup, so the flight computer has taken over, and we're getting SpaceX ready for the SpaceX launch director go. is go for launch. And there we hear Charlie Meyer say that SpaceX is ready for launch, and uh, Europa Clipper getting ready to lift off. And there's a great update as now it vents out. The locks inside the line of the transporter erector. We are inside of 30 Last seconds. 30 seconds and counting. You must 15 seconds and counting. And here we go. 10, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper, unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. You see that the chamber pressures are nominal as we hear. All 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up, they're gonna back off those engines just a bit. As we get ready to head into max, max Power speed. and telemetry nominal. We hear that power and telemetry on the vehicle are good there. Everything's looking uh, really Falcon well. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. They have uh, reduced power in the center core uh, to get through maximum max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the launch vehicle as we approach that. The two side boosters at full throttle. A beautiful shot there is our camera team. Max Q. Locking into the rocket on a clear blue sky. The view from the booster cam back down on Earth. And there we heard the call for Max-Q. The vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, next thing up in about two minutes will be a booster engine cutoff where we see the two side booster engines, all 18, shut down and get ready for booster separation. But the vehicle is performing very well. Looking at all the telemetry that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. We've been flying for just under two minutes so far. Everything looking good? These side boosters, once they do their job, they will be expended. If you're familiar with the Falcon Heavy, you know that they bring the boosters back on certain launches, but not on this one, because all of the performance is needed to push Europa Clipper into its proper orbit. Things continue to look good as the vehicle uh, heads down its uh, ascent phase here. All telemetry is looking very nominal for this flight this morning. Uh, Falcon Heavy is performing very well. Now we're just about 30 seconds away from separating those side boosters. Their engines will cut off first, then they will separate. MVAC is chilling. Starting to chill down that MVAC D engine in the second stage. And that's uh, where we need to get the engine uh, chilled to the proper temperatures before flowing uh, liquid oxygen and RP-1 into it. So uh, they're conditioning the engine to make sure things are ready for when it's ready to uh, start up. Stand by for booster separation. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. And there they go. Those two boosters previously flown on Psyche. Uh, this will be their sixth flight. We thank you for their service this morning. They did a great job of getting Falcon Heavy and Europa Clipper on its way as the center core takes over and continues mission uh, down its ascent. Things are looking really good in the telemetry. Power and trajectory look nominal. 
and uh, chamber pressures on the nine center core engines look really good. And just a little more, 20 seconds from now, we'll get the cutoff of the main engine on the center core booster that remains. Four seconds after that, we will separate. Flying out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's a look from inside. There we Nico. see stage one. Uh, stage separation down. confirmed. And stage separation from the uh, center core. Getting ready for MVAC startup, SES-1. We're getting some applause here in the Mission Directors Center, and there you see the MVAC-D engine lighting up. Next thing up in about 10 seconds will be fairing separation. NYPY FTS has saved. And fa the fairing has protected Europa Clipper on its ascent th up into space, but once we get into space, we don't need that fairing anymore. Uh, fairing so there they separation go. confirmed. Fairing has separated, and those will be recovered, Daryl, by uh, SpaceX's own recovery okay, ship, Go Cosmos. Up. And there um, you see them falling away into space. That is the only part of this rocket that will be recovered. The glow of the MVAC-D engine as it uh, performs its uh, first burn here. This is about a um, three minute and 47 second burn. Uh, things are looking great. Uh, matter of fact, this is one of the shortest first burns that has been done on a Falcon Heavy uh, by SpaceX, but uh, it is required to get us into that parking orbit for that long coast that we have to get ready for the interplanetary trajectory that uh, we're gonna need to get Europa Clipper on its way that we heard Jenny talk about to get those Earth Assist uh, slingshots as it, it uh, heads on its way for its mission. So things looking really good this morning with the performance of the Falcon Heavy. MVAC is performing well and everything looks good thus far in the today's mission. Usually those burns are the other way around with a longer first burn and the shorter second burn, but in this case, it is reversed. As we look at some crystal clear views of the MVAC-D engine, the Stage 2 that's carrying Europa Clipper, orbital light is shining both on the spacecraft, the second stage, and on planet Earth. Center core is beautiful. FPS saved. There we've heard that the flight termination system on the center core has been saved as it heads back uh, to splash down. Things are looking good. I can tell you, Daryl, we had a beautiful weather day for launch. And as we're looking at MVAC flying in space with Europa Clipper, it is such a gorgeous view with Earth behind it. And uh, so we could not have had a better day for a mission launch today. No doubt about it, Mick. It was simply gorgeous. We had a hurricane a week ago, but after that pushed out, it brought us in its wake near perfect weather for launch. And now we're into space, dealing with the harsh conditions up there. Stage two FTS is safe. Uh, stage two has made its way into space, far enough away for uh, us to be able to safe the flight termination system. From a safety perspective, we're about a minute away from second stage engine cutoff as we'll see the MVAC-D uh, shut down and get ready for a long coast, uh, getting Europa Clipper into that parking orbit and uh, on its way for the uh, next firing that we will have, the second stage uh, number two, to get it into that interplanetary uh, transfer orbit that we need to get Europa Clipper started. So things looking very well this morning. We're about 30 seconds from that stage engine cutoff, which we refer to as SECO-1. That's right, we'll get into that. Guidance. Get into that coast phase. These views brought to you, of course, by ground stations across the track that are put off. Uh, things looking really good. We're about a minute away from uh, payload separation, expected payload separation. Things continue to look good as the stage two uh, a altitude continues to increase. Velocity has a steady state now for stage two, um, and things looking really good for this portion of the mission. Getting close now. Less than 30 seconds away from separation. There you see the Europa spacecraft, those massive solar panels that you were talking about all stacked together. This is a big moment for the program, for NASA, APL, and JPL. Let's watch.
Europa Clipper, separation confirmed. And there you go. NASA's Europa Clipper probe embarking on a long-awaited mission to study Jupiter's icy moon Europa. And what a sight, Mick. That is absolutely gorgeous, Gerald, to see Europa Clipper on its way. Successful deployment from Stage 2. Falcon Heavy performed very well today. Teams behind us are clapping and enjoying. That is a beautiful picture. Via the video, we can see that Clipper has successfully separated. Please say goodbye to Clipper on its way to Europa. Now that voice you heard just there is the Europa Clipper flight director, Pranay Mishra. He's with the mission support team.